Hi everyone, one last video for the time being, and then there's Doctor Strange later on in the mo uh, in the day. Um, so, uh, for Magic, I, the last Magic video I did, what was the last Magic video I did? Uh, I didn't do any of the Commander spoilers, I could give my thoughts on that, but uh, here's my quick thoughts. I think it looks cool. There, yeah, there you go. There's my thoughts. Uh, yeah, I, I'm a big fan of Magic, but, uh, <laughs> and, you know, Commander. I don't play Commander as the game itself, but I get the decks because I love the cards. Um, but yeah, honestly, I can't remember what the last uh, Magic video I did was. Um, I'll check the playlist later on. <laughs> but point being is that, yo, and I don't remember why I don't remember, because I didn't do one last week, because I took a week off. But yeah, so for this one, I thought we'd go into a little fun lore stuff. And my question to you, and the question I'm posing is, who is the strongest me current member of the Gatewatch? Uh, the Gatewatch, obviously, for those of you who aren't heavily into the story, but pretty much know it at this point, is the Planeswalker sworn to protect the multiverse. Currently, it consists of Jace as the somewhat leader, the, gu the guy who makes the plan, the Batman, if you will, the guy who makes the strategies and the plans. Then you have Gideon, who's kind of Superman, slim and invulnerable. Chandra, uh, Nyssa, and Liliana. Though it's hit, it, obviously more uh, planeswalkers are probably going to join at some point in time. It's looking like Johnny's probably going to be joining at some point, which is going to be cool. Um, <clears throat> so the question then becomes: Who is the actual strongest among the Gate Watch? Now to answer that question, <coughs> you got to look at. <clears throat> Gate Watch's, uh, Gate Watch Planeswalker's, Planeswalker's abilities. And again, excuse me if my voice cracks or if I'm coughing, getting over a cold. Um, yeah, you have to look at their actual abilities, abilities and personalities. Now, I'm not going to be going over their cards because if we're going to look at the current incarnations, and if you're going to talk about the Gate Watch members, you have to talk about their current in incarnations. Chandra can completely outmatch pretty much all of them, though, to be fair, Nissa can give them a run for its money simply because it can summon a 5-5 creature and smash into Chandra. Uh, Gideon can t technically become invulnerable. Uh, Jace can't protect itself really at all. And then Leon just summons stuff. So I, I would argue it's either Gideon, Chandra, or Nissa in terms of card form. Um, but not talking, and if you're talking about the cards as a whole, it's Jace and Chandra. Jason Chandra are the strongest, are some of the strongest Planeswalker cards that ever be printed in the Gatewatch, anyway. But the question still remains: Who is the strongest in terms of the story, in terms of the lore? Now, to look at, to understand, and answer that question, you have to look at again. Personalities are a big factor. How they utilize their powers, how they see the world, and their abilities as a whole. How do they utilize those abilities? So let's go down the list. Jace. He's a telepath. He's an extremely powerful telepath. He's an illusionist. He's even got some martial abilities. He actually was trained a bit in sword combat. But his primary abilities are planning, illusions, which can actually do some damage. He can actually create solid illusions to a degree, as uh, is shown in the Ages of Artifice, or uh, the novel. Um... And um, and uh, tel telepathy is a big one where he can he can manipulate minds, he can even control minds, he can read minds. But if someone has a decent amount of resistance, he, it's going to be harder for him to do. But he can still do it. He's also an extremely avid planner. That being said, he has he he likes to find research information. He doesn't like to go head in. He likes to research and plan beforehand. That's the Batman thing. That being said, he's no Batman as a whole. Um, now in theory, Jace is strong enough to take out any member of the Gatewatch. He, if he wanted to, he could, in theory, confuse them with illusions and then bring them down mentally. Liliana would, I think, be the hardest one to do that with I think because he could pretty much reach out and you know take out the fear of Eldrazi for Nyssa, the horrible past for Th uh, Gideon and uh, Chandra. When Nyssa, Nyssa was actually, uh, uh, besides Jace, Nyssa was the only one who was able to resist Emrakul's influence to any sort of degree. The other ones were just flat on the ground. Uh, and Nyssa has been able to outmaneuver Jace because he can't control the zombies because they're mindless. So, in theory, that being said, Jace, if you really try it hard, could could um, probably bring Nyssa uh, uh, Lilia down. It's just a matter of if he could bring her down before he gets eaten by zombies. And by let's segue that way into Liliana. Liliana is a necromancer. She can summon zombies, manipulate the dead, summon shades. Um, but she's not a physical combatant by any stretch of the means. Jace actually does have some physical uh, training to him. So th that actually does give him a slight edge. He can actually defend himself to a degree. 
Um, especially if he actually had, like, a stick or even a sword on him. He doesn't carry those, which I don't understand why he actually doesn't, if he actually does have some training in that. Maybe it's just because he prefers the... Um, prefers his overall abilities and uh, helping others. Um, but yes, Liliana is, again, Liliana is not someone who gets nitty gritty into the fray physically herself. She loves doing the dirty work. She loves just raising them and just uh, making them attack, but she's not, um, she's not someone who likes to trust people. She's very manipulative as being black, and, uh, she's very untrustworthy in many regards. She also doesn't like being manipulated herself. She it finds that, she takes great offense to that a hypocrite much. Um, so, she, Liliana's got, Liliana's not, Liliana's not someone who necessarily uh, plans, but she's not someone who just goes in ahead first. She does at least try to think things through a little bit. Not to Jace's level, or not to anyone's level, really. But she still tries to think it out. Uh, moving on from black to white, we'll go to Gideon. Gideon, he's a stout guy. He can make himself indestructible. He literally can make himself invulnerable. Um, and he, he can manipulate his whip blades, which are interesting. They're, it's like a telekinetic thing. I don't know exactly how he does it, but he can do it. And, you know, just whip him and whip him around. He charges it. He's, he's a physical combatant through and through. He's a good guy. He believes in justice and life and love and all that stuff. But he's also pretty much... He's very headstrong and stubborn though while he does believe in plans and battle uh, strategies he's uh what's the best way to put it he's a little bit of a meathead <laughs> not dumb he's not dumb at all he, again he is a he's a military guy he's a soldier he takes orders he follows orders and he does give orders uh, but he is front lines battle guy what he la he lacks sufficient strategy if he's on his own and so he's more or less just you know Taking them out. Now that being said, physically speaking, he could take out any any four of the Gate Watch members. No, no problem. He is the physical powerhouse of them all. Um, so <clears throat> at least currently, if a Johnny joins, then we could have a different debate. That'd be an interesting fight. Um, <clears throat> sorry, Ooh, man, I'm still getting over the cold. I'm not really sick anymore. I'm just getting over all the post congestion, and you know, it gets in the throat, and I'm crap. My voice is crackly. Uh, moving on to Liliana, Liliana Chandra. Chandra, let's actually get out of it. Pyromancer, Pyromancer, woohoo, Pyromancer. Woo. She can incinerate an entire town if she really wanted to. Um, she incinerated the Eldrazi, for God's sake. But she has no control over her emotions. Well, she is the de definition of a red mage. She has almost no control over her emotions whatsoever, and has gotten her into some deep shits. So she can be easily manipulated, but she's got the firepower to say, hey, I could roast the most. I don't know if Gideon's invulnerable to flame. I think, y'all know, yeah, I think he is invulnerable. Well, he's got his invulnerability on, obviously, because that's, that's a magical ability. He has to turn on his invulnerability. I do believe he is a resistant, and therefore he's the probably one of the best likely candidates to. And like, if any of them went rogue and they had to be taken out by the Gatewatch members, he's the best candidate to go and actually take Liliana out because he's invulnerable. It's kind of like the Xavier protocols. Like, if the X Men went rogue, who? How do you stop them? If the Gatewatch went rogue, how do you stop them? Last but not least, it's Nissa. Nissa's actually arguably one of the hardest ones to take out, save for Jace, who can uh, manipulate her mentally, because she literally commands the Earth itself. She can create elementals. She can manipulate plant life. If she's in a sufficient area, she can literally be. Uh, she can literally just destroy the entire area. Just I'm going to ma make this place overgrow with forest, and just the plants are going to kill you all. Uh, so it, she. That being said, though, she's Kind of a loner, <clears throat> kind of xenophobic, kind of a not agoraphobic. She's the, yeah, she's kind of xenophobic. So she's a she's a bit untrusting and she's a bit isolated. That that's that's honestly your biggest decision. That her, she it's not that she doesn't trust her. She's just very introverted. That's the best way to put it. She's very in inwards thinking, very to herself. But so that being said, who is the strongest member of the Gate Watch? So, who could beat who? That's a good put, way to put it uh, this way. Who could beat Jace? Well, Liliana, I think, is the only one who could really soundly beat Jace, because Jace could literally just floor the other three mentally. Liliana, I think, is the only one who could really take on Jace. And even then, Jace could still, I think, beat her. 
but he's really got to focus on her because she has the Raven Man in red too. Who we still don't know if he's a planeswalker, some sort of mental manifestation, a separate personality, like a, a spirit insider. We don't know what the Raven Man is still. He's even seen the Raven Man in her head, or at least heard him. So he know he's actually aware of the Raven Man. But I think if he focused hard enough. He could, in like if when he did against uh, Tezzeret, and I got a ruler in man, um, like when he did against Tezzeret, I do believe he could probably take her out. That being said, that he'd have to get away from the zombies, assuming he doesn't die. But I think, in theory, Jace could take down all four of the gate match members, but Liliana would be the hardest one for him to do. The other ones, he could just go, focus, boom, ah, oh, like that. <laughs> They'd just be like, because oh. uh, none of them really have any mental guards at all. Uh, Liliana... Chandra can roast her zombies. Missa can uh, take out the zombies with plant life. And Gideon can just, is he, pretty much just go invulnerable against the zombies. Honestly, Liliana's, as powerful as Liliana is, most of the Gatewatch members can actually take her out. When you really think about it in terms of the broad spectrum. Because we're talking about uh, how strong they are in comparison to the rest of the Gatewatch, oh, Gatewatch members. And if they had to be taking one of them out, they'd have to be going all out. If you're talking about going all out... Then, yeah, Liliana actually can't really... I mean, she might be able to overwhelm Gideon, but Gideon being invulnerable, they're not going to be able to bite through Gideon. He's going to slash through his well. Eventually, he's going to charge at Liliana and eventually take her out. Chandra will just incinerate the lot and incinerate Liliana. Sh uh, Nissa, Nissa might, be a, it might be able to... She might be able to overpower Nissa, depending on how quickly she can gather like the plants and the ley lines and stuff like the energy. But the elementals, I think, would eventually overwhelm the zombies, but who knows? I think maybe Nissa might be the one Liliana could beat more than any of the other ones, maybe even besides Jace. But, uh, yeah, this is, uh, Liliana is actually not that effective of a combatant when you really break it down. Gideon, Gideon could take down Chandra, uh, Chandra no problem. Gideon, I think, could, uh, if he can just rush in there real quick and take down Liliana. I don't think he can take down Jace, because Jace can just use illusions and then just boom, um, cause zombies aren't fooled by illusions either. Oh, they might be. Um, uh, cause again, simple brain, the most simplistic of brain functions, but that might mean they still fall for an illusion. Uh, I can't remember if that story where he met Liliana and his and, and uh, during the shadows, um, storyline, uh, involved him summoning illusions. <coughs> but, uh, no, yeah, he can beat Chandra. I'm certain, I'm certain he can beat Chandra. I'm pretty certain he could beat Liliana, though there's some contention against that. Uh, this is a difficult one. Uh, if he can, if he can summon a couple elementals and then summon her power, because her power comes from charging herself up. If she's left open, she's done for. But if she charges up like some plant life or something like that, like say he just wraps him in a root, then he can't move and then she can just kill him in the long run. Um, so I think Gideon can beat, um, Chandra and Liliana no problem and maybe Nissa, but that one's difficult to gather. Uh, Chandra can beat Liliana, no problem. Um, she, in theory, could beat Nissa, no problem. She could roast her plant life. She can't beat Gideon. Gideon can go indestructible, go through the flames, and then just slash her face off. Uh, and she, she, uh, she can't beat J. Well, they did have a confrontation. That, that's... That, there was no definitive winner in that. In fact, actually, I think Jace did technically beat her. Like, erase some, um like, got the scroll back and stuff like that. It wasn't like a fight to the death or anything. But if you want, you were to ask me who's going to win the actual fight to the death, Sean, I think Jace is just going to block, uh, just shut down Chandra before Chandra, and even then, she can summon illusions and just manipulate her rage and stuff like that, and just hide out, like, behind a rock or something, until it's like, okay, focus, you're down, boom. Um... Yeah, so I don't think, I don't think Chandra beats Liliana or uh, Gideon. <coughs> or not only <Liliana> or Gideon. <coughs> Does not beat Jace or Gideon. Then there's Nissa. Nissa's weird. Honestly, overall power wise, she could theoretically be the strongest of the Gatewatcher along with Chandra. But in terms of how easy it would be to take her down, the only one I see actually her convincingly beating is Gideon. Because uh, Gideon is just a close quarters combat kind of guy. She just has to maintain her distance. Uh, Liliana, I think, could theoretically overwhelm her with zombies. Chandra can just roast her um, elementals, and Jace can just shut her down mentally. So, when you really break it down, I gotta say, the strongest ones of the Gatewatch 
Honestly, I gotta say, it's, and I know it's, it's the it's people don't like because of the, oh, Jace is the most popular ones. But when you really think about their abilities, how they compare to each other, and how they would utilize it against each other, Jace is, in theory, the strongest of the Gatewatch because, he, because of just how strong mentally he is and how we've seen their mental capacities can handle... This, let me rephrase that. How well they can handle mental assault. Because uh, Emmercool was an exception. Emmercool's influence and tele telepathy was astounding. Don't get me wrong. Uh, but still, the point remains that Jace was still able to resist. Making him not a, maybe not stronger or better than Emmercool. But uh, let's say Emmercool is a 10 in terms of telepathy. I think Jace is probably somewhere like in the 7 range. So I think pretty much he can drop them all in some way, shape, or form. Liliana, again, being the hardest one. But when you break it down, he still could probably take Liliana if he really focused on Liliana. Uh, and, want, and wanted, not gathered information money. This is not information gathering, Jace, we're talking. This is burnout and Tezzeret's freaking psyche, Jace, we're talking about when he did that. So if he's focusing that power on someone... Even Liliana, I think, is going to be in a world of hurt. So I honestly have to give it to Jace. To, now, let's be clear. This is in terms of overall, if, if they could take him out. If you're talking about overall pure firepower, then i got to give it to Chandra. If you're talking about pure all physical power, I'm giving it to Gideon. If you're talking about pure all um, ability to overrun an opponent, I would give it to either Chandra or Liliana. So there's a lot of different ways to look at this. But if you're asking me who the overall strongest in terms of their overall abilities is, and how it would take out the other Gatewatch members, because that's how you're going to basically say who the strongest one is, and how they can affect the other <laughs> the world as well, I would say it's Jace, because Jace is capable of not only taking out the Gatewatch members, but manipulating other people in general. Liliana, Nissa can warp the world, but, you know, if, on Zendikar, the world just warps itself back. So it all depends on where you are. And if you get her in the wrong, or like, your world, like Ravnica, which ha is limited in nature, then she's at a disadvantage. Jace and Liliana, the same way, there's not really any zombies on uh, Kaladesh, so her abilities are kind of, eh. Get, get really, Gideon, Chandra, and uh, Jace are the only ones who aren't negatively affected, no matter what world they go to. So, really, they, they also come in at probably the strongest Gatewatch members, but I gotta give it to Jace, because between those three who aren't limited in their abilities based on worlds, Jace is the only one who can take down the other two with little effort. So, I got yeah, I don't like, I actually don't like the fact I gave it to Jace, because I know people have an issue with how popular and how often Jace is used, but I gotta call it like I see it. I think Jace actually is the de facto strongest, most capable of them, and uh, most and most powerful in terms of how his abilities affect the world around him, the uh, people around him, and the Gatewatch as a whole. So, yeah, that's my magic video for this week. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. As always, if you want us to review something, put in the comments below. Let us know. We'll do a review of it at some point. Be back later today with my review for Doctor Strange. I have no movie news planned for today, but we'll see what pops up. I already did uh, the Gal Gadot uh, Wonder Woman a trailer 2 review, so yeah, you can check that out. Thanks for watching, though. Uh, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.